and let the one who has no sword sell his cloak and buy one. All right, guys, I want to show you a very unique Bible today. It's called the Gunwad Bible. It's the Christoph Sauer 1776 Bible, and I want to show you that in just a minute. Stay tuned. We make holsters. We have uh, custom holsters that we make, uh, so you can go check those holsters out. Defensetraining.org backslash holsters. All right, back to the video. All right, guys, I want to show you the Gunwad Bible today. This is the Christoph Sauer 1776 Bible. Uh, this is one of three that he did. He did two earlier productions, but uh, this one's unique in several different ways, actually. This is the first Bible printed in America by all American materials. Um, no other Bible before this one in 1776 it had been totally printed of all American materials, uh, of stuff here in America. Now, of course, um, they were still under the uh, rule of England, right? Uh, and then this was actually illegally printed because uh, King George III, the king at that time, would not allow any Bibles printed outside of uh, the Church of England. Uh, the Church of England had uh, a certain person to print their Bibles, and he had actually uh, had it uh, made the way he wanted it made, written the way, the books there that he wanted, all that good stuff. So there, there's a big uh, story behind that as well, but I just wanted to show you the Bible. Um, and they call it the Gunwad Bible because the British troops, they were coming through uh, Germantown, Pennsylvania. And when they were going through and raiding and all that stuff, they found leaves of the Bible uh, set out to dry in a barn. And in that barn, uh, they took them and they used them as gunwads. Uh, so it's come now to be known as the Gunwad Bible. He had, I believe it was 3,000 copies in the barn. Um, however, uh, we know that about 173 to 175 um, exist today uh, in, in their entirety. There's a lot of leaflets out there, but as far as in their entirety, and this is one of them, and we know that uh, it is presumed or said that less than 50 were their original clasp. So I have the original clasp here, uh, and then I'm going to close it. Uh, it's very fragile, so, you know, it's made in 1776. It's not super bad, but it's, it's, it's decent. It's got wear and tear for sure but you take your clasp you push down on the Bible and they still clasp uh, and as far as we could tell when we had this uh, the appraising and all that as far as we can tell all of this is original uh, so this is one of the actual original all the way down to the class that actually exist um, so I just want to give you a little background history on the uh, Gunwad Bible and there's backing of this I believe it was uh, Thomas Jefferson that had in his memoirs or his diaries or whatever you want to call them, uh, you know, guys don't like calling them diaries, but uh, he kept a journal, basically, and he had it in his journal speaking of the Gunwad Bible. It said that there was leaves of Christoph Sauer's newly printed Bible, and they took them for more than one reason. One, they needed Gunwads, and two, it was illegal to print the Bible, so they're like, well, we'll show you, and they took it all like that. Uh, so there's documentation that uh, that's what happened um, through his uh, journals. Uh, so I just wanted to show you the Gunwad Bible, one of the things that we have in our micro museum. Uh, it's a pretty cool uh, artifact there. Uh, so you can go, uh, if you ever take one of our classes, you can check it out. Uh, Alright guys, this is Spencer Defense Training. Stay safe. Stay armed. Hey, we want to take a second just to let you know that we offer concealed weapons classes in South Carolina. We are in Anderson, South Carolina. So if you're local to us, check us out at defensetraining.org. Uh, we also offer other training as well. You can check that out again, uh, defensetraining.org. Um, also, we make holsters. We have uh, custom holsters that we make. Uh, so you can go check those holsters out. Uh, they are ambidextrous and both inside and outside the waistband holsters. Uh, they are made of Kydex. They have a lifetime guarantee and a 60-day uh, money-back guarantee. So check those out at defensetraining.org backslash holsters. All right, back to the video. Please like, subscribe, and comment on this video below. Thanks.